you guys uh, back again uh, for the final blog in this series of uh, running uh, for beginners. Uh, the thing that I want to talk through today is, is how you would progress your running once you're up to a point where you're doing a continuous run. So in my last vlog I talked to you a little bit about walk run programs um, and I finished on suggesting that you do um, 30 minutes time on feet where you're running for um, jogging sorry, for five minutes and then walking for one. So once you've completed that, um, you would then your next stage would be actually to drop back the overall time a little bit and to go out for a continuous run. So I normally suggest to my clients that you would go out for a 20 minute easy run um, and then do that again uh, three times a week, always with a day off in between. If that feels pretty good and you're not having any problems with that, you can then start to apply the 10% rule. So ideally with a run, you don't want to be ever adding any more than 10% on your last on your last run. And I would argue that you don't really want to be adding more than 10% per week. So like we've done already, if you're if you're going to increase the distance, then you want to do it keep it the same for that week and actually as you start to increase your distance further it's a good idea to do two shorter runs so it might be that you do 20 minutes on Monday and Thursday and then you do a longer run at the weekend which is the one that you start to increase your distance by so you would do 20 minutes um, during the week and then um, to start with 20 22 23 minutes at the weekend and then you're adding a 10% on to that run um, at the weekends the other thing to think about as, you, as you're running, particularly at the beginning, and this also applies to, um, to, to more conditioned athletes, people who are used to running, is thinking about your pace of your running. The vast majority of people that come in to see us for, for injuries are often not doing an easy run or a, or a really... Um, um, a really aerobic based run. Um, on these aerobic or easy based runs, and this is the one that I would suggest that you maybe uh, increase the distance with, so this would be your longer run at the weekend, you do it at a much slower pace than you would do your other runs. So if you go by heart rate monitor, then you'd be thinking of trying to keep your heart rate under about 130 beats per minute. Um, between 130 and 140 max max um, and it should feel like a super comfortable easy pace. Um, the reason that we do this is that it's to get your aerobic system conditioned and people often overlook it and they think that they have to go out there and in order to get fit they have to make the session super hard and it's a really 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 common misconception uh, in both beginner runners and also your experienced runner. So. Get yourself out there, start building up the, uh, the distance, 10% rule, and try and keep those runs super nice and easy. Uh, good luck with it all, and I'll be back again maybe in a couple of weeks to talk a little bit more about other running problems.